Sam here and welcome to a very quick flux sub. What's a flux sub? It's where I take 2000 AD, have a look at it and tell you what I think. Uh, it's December, Christmas, uh, things are getting hectic. Uh, 2000 AD didn't arrive until today, which is a Wednesday. I gotta go and do Christmas stuff. Work's busy. Oh, so frustrating. Give me my 2000 AD on a Saturday so I can get this done on a Sunday. Anyway. Uh, next week is the Christmas edition of 2000 AD, uh, which is obviously giant sized, and then uh, it takes a break for a couple of weeks. So I'll be putting together some stuff between then and New Year, hopefully some 2000 AD related videos. So watch out for that. Here's my 2000 AD. Uh, like I say, I've got it on a Wednesday. Let's open it up and have a look at the cover. Uh, yes, get to dive in. Right. Get my glasses on. So, the cover of this week's 2008 is Boom! Oh, uh, oh, Mark Harrison, never look back. Sid takes flight me out. The out, the best. In here is the last part of uh, Judge Dredd the musical, which I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let's have a look inside the prize. Okay, again, lovely cover, a sneak preview there of what we're gonna see in the out. Unfortunately, my subscriber copy. Came with a little tear. Oh well, it's fine. I enjoy it for reading, not for collecting. Anyway, as always, shall we read the damage report? Damage report, Journal of the Plague Years, week 77. So, Operation Dread Workplace is go. TMO pulls together all the managerial tricks he's honed over the last 45 years to ensure that the droids are thoroughly miserable. Dumping a 40-page series on the art bots and instructing them to turn it around in a week. Giving the design mechs tips on how to use InDesign. Random defenestrations. Ah, defenestrations. I do like that word. I learned that from Hitman comic book. This character. Brilliant. So we've got an advert here for You've Got Red On You. you got red on you. Hello, mate. Which is a book all about Shaun of the Dead. It's a little competition here. Which ice cream links Shaun of the Dead with Hot Fuzz and the World's End? Well, it's Cornetto, obviously. I mean, that's knobbly dobbly. Is that even a real ice cream? Ah, I'll be interested in that. I do like Shaun of the Dead. It's one of my favourite films. So we've got Judge Dredd the Musical Part 3. Now, this is a longer version. I think maybe this was meant to be a four-part series, but it's been constricted because next week we've got the big Christmas issue and again it's a delight Chris Weston knocking out the park with the art absolutely brilliant last week I said that Anormo Overdrive the third was grandson of Anormo Overdrive it's saying he's the son so that doesn't really make sense sensitive Clegg's uh, hip hopera is hilarious all the uh, characters from the cursed earth the Apocalypse War. Walter the Robot turns up. And of course, his solo is transcendental. <laughs> the vague plot of Dread and Clegg being assassinated is played out. Um, Dread turns up. I love his face there when he sees Clegg and Walter the Robot. Drock. Just brilliant. He's like, uh, oh my God, his worst nightmare. Dread shoots his heat seeker in a crowded place where it literally could have gone anywhere. I don't understand how heat seekers work, but it works and it shoots his brains out. And uh, things get tied up. Dread here explains that this producer didn't put in the necessary paperwork to do the play. I mean, if you're going to do a play about Judge Dredd and you live in a world, in a city where judges will literally put you in jail for for impersonating a judge, being a jimp. That's rule one. That's, that's step one of doing this. I mean, it's ridiculous and doesn't make sense. But to try to make sense and apply logic to this story misses the point. It's a hilarious, fun romp. It was absolutely brilliant. Finishing off with a normal overdrive, the third, doing his trademark, shock bar. Chris Weston truly is one of the great Judge Dredd artists. Some adverts here for, uh, what's that? Case File 38. And of course, Hellman, the Hammer Force. Classic old action stuff there. And, uh, oh, book two, part 11 of the out. Uh, shit's got real for Sid. The Tankanar 
have arrived. And we haven't seen the tank and we've yet to actually seen them. Last time we saw them uh, in book one, uh, Sid was completely obliterated. And um, so Sid's escaping with all these refugees, but there's attacks, mass casualties. And she's very close to being killed so many times until finally she sees face to face the tank and uh, in a very weird. They are bizarre. I mean... This reminds me a little bit of a thin version of the Destroyer from the Thor film and the comics as well. Identify yourself. Here we go. Pretty creepy. But Sid, uh, yet again, escapes being murdered by the Tankanar. What's going on? Could this be something to do with back when the aliens called her the Malabunda? Could this be linked? Hmm. Anyway, she escapes by climbing into her bag, which then probably gets destroyed. Now, I think she's probably all right because that's another dimension. The bag's been destroyed, but Sid will survive, I think, in the other dimension. The bag being blown up won't actually destroy what's in it. Anyway, I think next week we have the final part of the out. This series has been brilliant. <sighs> Scarlet Traces, a part 11. Again, looks great. We'll read it eventually. And then also <sighs> Dexter, Lordy Geordie, King of Everything, part four. I'm, I'm, I'm stopped reading this because um, I'm not interested in it whatsoever. So again, two stories out of the whole prog that I'm not reading. 50%, but we had the amazing Judge Red and the brilliant out. So even though 50% of this prog I didn't read, I still enjoyed it. And here we go. Uh, again, I do my cover reveal, but they always show you what the cover is going to be. And that's the cover for Christmas prog next week. What are we looking at? Judge Dredd, Kingmaker, Protus Vex, The Order. None of that is jumping out at me like a must read. Uh, Strontium Dog. On the Ultimate Collection and a lovely tear. Ugh. Uh, anyway, that was Prog 2261. <laughs>